Here I have a brand new Apple Watch Series 7 45mm. I haven't opened this one on camera yet, so let's open it up and see what's inside. I got the product right here, a beautiful watch. This is definitely a video that you'll want to stick through to the end. At the end I show something kind of unique and different about the screen. And we talk a little bit more about that as well. Let's turn it on and test it out. Carefully insert a pry tool and create a gap so that I can stick a piece of plastic under it. And I want to use this piece of plastic to do the rest of the work. This screen is super delicate. And so are the flex cables that are around the side. So using a piece of plastic will prevent me from damaging any of those components and make it really easy to open up. I'm going to turn on my heat plate, get some suction on that screen. And with a little bit of isopropyl alcohol, I'll be able to carefully lift up the flex cables. The adhesive that's used is really sticky, really strong. So heat and alcohol definitely help here. I'll carefully slide one of my tools in under the sticker and peel it up gently. We'll do that on both of the connectors and flap up the flaps on the connector. Gently pull the flex cables out and look at the screen. I love this tool for removing adhesive. This tool is extremely versatile. You can use it on all iPhones, iPads, anything to remove adhesive, even refurbishing screens to remove the Oka. Gently take a pry tool, and with the assistance of some isopropyl alcohol, we'll easily be able to lift the battery up without deforming it or wrinkling it. All it needs is a little patience. That leverage and the alcohol will do their work and the battery will come out. All the screws in the Apple Watch are your Y000 tri-wing screws. We'll carefully detach the battery and the antenna here that's over the Taptic engine so that we can remove it. Disconnect the Taptic engine, connector under it. We'll next take out the screws to remove the speaker. There's three screws holding it down. And there's the connector for it. I'll carefully pry it out using the bracket. There's a little plateau here in the way one of the screws screws into. But if we get around that it'll pop right out. Some of the screws are hidden by these little stickers. There's going to be three screws on each side, holding a bracket that holds the logic board down inside the frame of the watch. We'll need to disconnect the power button, microphone, and crown. And we'll carefully 
lift the logic board out. That flex cable kind of gets in the way, so you have to work around it. But if you're careful, you won't tear it, and the logic board will come out. There's a single connector that connects the board to the charging unit. A couple screws will allow us to loosen up the power button. In order to replace it, along with the microphone, there's some soldering involved. I'll clamp it here in my fixture. And with some tweezers and a soldering iron, I'll be able to desolder it from the flex cable. Unfortunately, the crown is more secure this time around. It's tack welded in. It's not as replaceable as the previous models. To remove the back, I'll carefully insert a pry tool. Once I can get a pick in there, I'll carefully slide that pick around. And slowly pry it up. You gotta be careful here because if you go too fast, you might lose one of the springs that's on the buttons for the, the watch bands. There's four springs and they're really small, hard to see. You'll see here in a second what I'm talking about. Once I've gone around it, I should be able to lift it up. Here's one of the springs that I was talking about. Hard to find if you lose them, so don't lose them. Carefully clean this up so I can replace the adhesive when I go to put it back together. Here's one more look at the frame from the back side. See the seal that they had here. And here's all the components that we removed from the watch. Remember to keep your screws and everything organized so you can put it back together. Fortunately, it's still possible to replace the glass on the Series 7. However, it is extremely difficult seeing as the plastic bezel that borders the display is fused into the layers of the display. So removing the glass is extremely difficult. It is possible, but it's difficult. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.